Hi, Fred Westermeyer here. I went through boot camp in June of uh, 1964. Paris Island, this is actually what we refer to as the boot camp book. Platoon 248, just recently been communicating with some of the, the folks that I went through boot camp with and uh, brought back a lot of memories. Mentioned a couple of these tales from boot camp already. Here's a new one that actually took place right before boot camp. When you went to boot camp back in the 60s, you would typically wind up in Savannah, Georgia at the local bus station to catch a uh, bus to Paris Island. Typically, you got into uh, Paris Island uh, very late in the evening on like a Sunday night. Um, so I flew from Cincinnati to Atlanta to Savannah, Georgia and took a bus to the bus station in Savannah, Georgia. Sunday night at that time in Georgia, you couldn't get anything to drink. So it was really bizarre watching all of these uh, drinkers that uh, wanted that last drink prior to uh, getting into boot camp because they knew they weren't going to be able to get anything in boot camp or didn't think they were going to be able to get anything in boot camp. So um, point of fact, uh, a number of the guys went out and bought hair tonic aftershave, lotion, etc., etc., and they were actually drinking hair tonic, aftershave, lotion in the parking lot of the uh, Greyhound, I guess it was, bus station in Savannah, Georgia, the night of June 16th or June 17th, 1964. Uh, little additional insight there. I actually made money in boot camp because at the time I didn't drink and we were allowed to buy Lavoris after shave or Lavoris mouthwash I should say uh, when we made our PX visits so I would buy Lavoris mouth mouthwash and then all of a sudden people started asking me if I would sell it to them I said sure I forget what the going price was but I made a very nice profit on it and it turned out these fellows were drinking the Lavoris mouthwash to get their alcohol fix so it just goes to show you uh, the power of alcohol even uh, whole sway in boot camp 